Now, what can we expect of Newcastle this season after they surprised a few on their way to qualifying for the Champions League last campaign? Well, their chief executive, Darren Eels, has revealed it's been all hands on deck this summer as the club returned to European football's elite club competition for the first time in over 20 years. Been busy really since day one of joining Newcastle. It's uh, you know Newcastle United is an amazing club, and as you know, we're going on a super exciting journey. We're probably a little bit ahead of where we thought we'd be on the pitch, and every day is fun getting up. It's busy, but it's a good good job to have. It's champagne problems, isn't it? I mean, mm. we'd have settled for that after fighting relegation the first season of the takeover to actually finish in the Champions League spot is is great for the club, exciting obviously for the whole city and the region and everyone's looking forward to the 31st of August and seeing who we get in the draw for the Champions League but I think you know it does bring those challenges where we have to try and accelerate everything else around the club to sort of match what's happening on the pitch. Well Eddie Howe has made three key signings so far this summer Sandro Tonali, Harvey Barnes and Tino Liveramento and Eels says squad depth is now vital as Newcastle contend with European football. We've got a great squad of players who did a brilliant job getting us where we were, but we understand that we're now going to be competing in Europe as well as the Premier League, and that's that's difficult. But then that means you've got to bring in quality that can actually match the squad you had. And also with Eddie, he's got a certain type of player and personality, and I think he's done a brilliant job since he's joined the club of just galvanising the squad and making sure that it's a team that's almost more than the sum of the parts because they just play so well together and with our fans getting behind them. So every player, it's got to be the right player at the right price. And I think with, you know, Tonali, obviously with Harvey Barnes coming in and now with Tino Liveramento, I think we've got three players that, you know, I know Dan and Eddie are really pleased about and we feel really good about the squad going into this season. So Eels mentioned there, Newcastle are always looking for the right player at the right price, despite being the richest club in the world. But as you might expect, there has been a significant upturn in how they've spent their money since the takeover. Now, let's just firstly have a look at Newcastle's record signing before and after Saudi Arabia's public investment fund took control of the club. The £40 million spent on Joe Linton there was their record transfer pre-takeover. And you've got Joe Willock, Miguel Almiron, Callum Wilson and Alan St Maximan all ranging from a modest 25 million down to 20 million and this man Michael Owen who they signed back in 2005 was their sixth most expensive signing at 16.5 million but of course that has drastically changed since the takeover four players have come in and either matched or surpassed the former record signing Joe Linton's transfer fee Bruno Guimaraes, Anthony Gordon, Sandro Tonali and Alexander Isak while summer signing Harvey Barnes makes their new top six it's over 130 million pounds spent so far this summer and while Eels say they can't make any promises he confirmed Newcastle are still on the lookout for players I understand that's the sort of uh, the fans view. I mean, look, as you know, we've got financial fair play and it's the same for every club. Um, you know, we've got to be flexible. We've got to be smart about our spending. I think since ownership took over, we've seen that in every transfer window where we've been sort of efficient in our spend, we've been targeted. But if the right opportunity comes up, that doesn't mean we can't be flexible. So I think we're always going to look and be flexible, but that doesn't mean that there's going to be, you know, another three players joining us.